Welcome to the Ages of Rock podcast with your hosts, Bill Algy, Dennis Talbot, and Alan Tate. We are three guys who have one thing in common, a love of rock and roll. Our goal is to talk about all things rock. We hope you find this show intriguing, funny, and occasionally highly opinionated. Enjoy. Welcome to Ages of Rock podcast number 29. Hey, hey, hey. Tonight we are going to be talking about the uh, people who use social media well and some of the rock stars that use social media not so well but anyway before we get started with that we're gonna since we had a short episode last week <laughs> look at bill he's like going, look at me look at me. it's a secret code it's a secret code <laughs> anyway before we get started we're gonna talk about some basically rock news and fucking shit that we want to talk about so <laughs> anyway alan why don't, you, why don't you talk about what's going on today? Well, today in the news, it was announced that uh, Prince had died from an overdose of fentanyl, Ooh, which is which, no is, which is a pretty powerful painkiller. But so. um, basically, what I wanted to bring up was now that it has been proven that he died from a drug overdose. Right. What's your opinion of what Gene Simmons said? That sparked the Doesn't Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Shannon Tweed, Nikki Six, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley argument. Go ahead, Bill. Um, don't care. Don't care. Well, you know, <laughs> I I I think what I don't know. I didn't really have a problem with what Gene said because I think what his point was is that people that are on drugs, it's pathetic. I don't think he meant that Prince was not relevant or any of that kind of stuff. I think he was just saying that he thought it was pathetic that he was doing that. Um, I, so I didn't really have a problem with it. I mean, of course I'm not, you know, my name, I'm not Nikki six and I'm not trying to save the world from themselves. So, um, but I don't know. I don't Whatever. I don't know. I don't really care what Gene Simmons says. He doesn't, he can say whatever he wants to say. I don't give a crap. <laughs> All right. I don't like I said I don't I'm like you I don't think it really changes you know Gene's got his opinion what he said no matter how the death happened it wasn't very what's the word Sorry. I'm looking for unexpected you know, sad it, well it's just it's just not it doesn't need to be said you know we, people know what went on it, it is I I do think it's kind of funny now not funny but I think it's kind of uh interesting you now the people that first you know when a lot of people jump saying that it was you know after that after he landed his plane that night on the way back for an, this emergency you know help you know one shot to help your heart thing you know that wasn't from dehydration or anything that was people knew what it was but the people who mentioned the fact well it was probably drugs and these people are jumping about oh don't say that until you know well it was so did you get it all taken care of bill <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, but anyway, uh, no. So that's what I think about that. It, it, it's I'm getting tired of hearing about it, and you know, it is what it is, and just let it be. And and it wasn't like I said, it wasn't a big shocking news for me. You know, I basically thought that was what it was all along. But anyway, well, I think from you know, I I think the bad thing is I think, I'll, you know, a lot of those, you know, Michael Jackson, Prince, right others probably that have had the same issue you know they're getting that they're getting that stuff if you know obviously illegally right um and it always ends up turning out bad so this is going to end up turning out bad at some point for somebody right and i don't know why people keep doing that i mean it just i don't i, I don't get it um you know what, you know what i was really shocked about to be honest now, i might be a, a a couple of uh numbers off but at his death he weighed 116 pounds no, that sounds about right. God, Probably, so he's not a very big I would, guy. I would, be, I would be surprised if he weighed that much. Man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm two sixty. <laughs> I mean, that's a little guy. Gee, You're two sixty. I was Dude, known to be that over the weekend. Diet. <laughs> Man, I'm usually two fifty ish, but yeah, it's uh, it was high this yeah, week. Yeah, that's what they all say. 
Yeah. I'm, 50. I'm big boned. But, Are you big boned? One sixty. <laughs> yeah. I'm not big boned. I'm fat. They're huge fat bones. But anyway, yeah. I don't like oh, to be folks. fat, but I don't like to be hungry. I didn't either. realize he was that small. I mean, good <clears throat> lord, that's 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 jockey size. <laughs> but he was never very tall. I mean, he's only like five yeah, foot, five, foot five five four five six or something. He's not a big. Yeah, big they guy. they mentioned the, the inches, and I don't remember what it was. It was sixty something inches, so he would have been no, not seven. Feet. No. Okay. But uh, anyway, that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I know uh, where you're going with that. <laughs> I don't think those notes were actually taken, or if they were, that they weren't. Uh, they weren't <laughs> transposed. Yeah. So yeah. So what? Uh, okay. Anything else, Alan? Got anything else for this week? No. Nope. Interesting news, Bill. Anything good? I know your dad. Did he enjoy his weekend up there? I guess. Yeah, he did. He enjoyed the weekend, and um, we son. didn't. Uh, and... Yeah, we didn't. We he, he just. When when do you think the show's going to be up? <laughs> no. They said early next week. Oh, okay. How do you think I did? And it, it was really, it was, I Have said, you well, taught you, him how to sky? I said, I said, well, you sucked, but you know, whatever. And then I, <laughs> I said, and then when it when it came when it when it uh, came out, and we were talking about it, and I I texted him and I said, hey, the show's up, and I sent him the link, and he goes, well, I'm just going to watch it on YouTube. I said, you have to use the link, Dad, because it's private until it gets opened on. Thursday, and he said he goes, "Well, I'm not really on there." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, yeah. that's because I'm a camera hog." <laughs> so have to let me. You know, hindsight after watching the episode this week, I was uh, I, I got to think about it. I should have bowed out, or one of us should have, and had it where it was two on the screen. That way, it could have been bigger for the for your dad to be on. You know, what I'm saying the picture would have been larger. That well, or put you your know, camera yeah. farther away. Yeah, you know, that would have been the thing. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. We didn't um, think about that, it. That I probably guess. would help. You know, but I thought it was cool. I mean, I really enjoyed no, it, no, having no, it him on there. Did he ever claim stories to be... were stories were cool? I mean, oh, it was. Uh, it was real fun. You know, yeah, I really I didn't know he'd seen Fats Domino. Um, you know, and the interesting thing is that Burke Bacharach thing you talked about going to going to with my mom. Um, right. When we were cleaning out some stuff when she passed away a couple of years ago, I found that book and it's autographed by Burke Bacharach. Wow, oh, cool. That's cool. So it's that thing is forty year, forty some years old. For I mean, that's old. <laughs> oh, and for the record, anybody that has a problem with the half of the bill, half Rick face, we are not professionals. So, no. yeah, it was a hindsight. Yeah, um, it was cool anyway. It was. Anyway, cool. I, I really appreciate you guys playing along. So and, and, no, and the people fun. who are, glad, are listening to through on. iTunes don't know what the hell we're talking about anyway. Yeah, he sounds yeah. <laughs> he sounds good. It's just the, the picture is half, and uh, but no, it, it was a lot of fun. We, and I think that was a good idea. A um, couple things I got real quick too before we get started. Uh, a friend of mine went to Heron, Illinois every year has a big festival weekend, and they bring in some fairly big name people. And he went on Saturday night. And I got a little review from him about this. And you'll, you'll find it interesting. Um, the on the docket that night was uh, Firehouse. Great White, not the Jack Russell version, but the other version of Great White. Oh, really? Uh, the other version is in Indy, I th is in Warsaw or something. Okay. And then Dokken, and then uh, Tom Kiefer, his Cinderella. That'd be pretty cool. Now he, you know, Mike's Mike's a real good guy. And like I say, you, you ever get to meet him? He, you know, like I say he he's got a lot, he's got views like us. I mean, he's he I I. Everything he says, I pretty, we went to some concerts together, and he knows we know we're about the about same liking. Two of those bands came off really good, and two of them really sucked. I'm gonna let you guys guess which ones they were. Of what I just said, who were the, who were the two bad bands? Just just throw out guess. I'm gonna go with bad was probably Great White Dokken, and probably Great White. That would be that would be my two guesses. Yeah, I would. I that's what I would go with. You're you're right on. You're right on the spot. He said uh, said Firehouse came out. Said they were they were fucking awesome. Said they were really good. Uh, Great White said they sounded good musically wise, but the singer, you know, you you, you want to hear Jack Russell. There's one of those things we talked about before. When you got a major player left the band, it's tough to go through. Um, Dockin, very interesting. He said that uh, this was on Saturday night. Sunday night they had Foreigner. So, but Jeff Pilson wasn't playing with them Saturday night. So I guess maybe Foreigner had a gig on Saturday night. So it was Mick, Don, and two other players. It wasn't Reb, 
and it wasn't um, it wasn't uh, Hilson. Well, Jeff doesn't play with them regularly. I mean, he, no, pre- he plays with saying. Foreigner regularly. But you would think because they were playing back to back nights that maybe he might show up. Mike, was I wonder. I wonder if Foreigner had a night. I wonder if they played on Friday night somewhere. That's else. what we're wondering. Could have been. That's what we're thinking. Yeah, because I don't think they're they're set. They're not set to do anything until got you, Japan. But so. he said that uh, he was really excited to see Dokken. He said it was, it was said it was really bad. Said it was probably the worst of the bunch that night. He said Don has not only is his voice not good, his stage presence is just horrible. Said they it's just the most boring thing he ever seen. He but and, you know. Don never really had much of a stage. No, he did I mean, not he really. Could, he would just he stand there voice. and sing. He didn't right. move around much. He didn't. So, he wasn't one of those guys that you know ran up right. and down the stage. He just kind of stood there. He never really Jeff had was the one that Jeff was the one that moved around. You know, Jeff, Jeff was moved yeah. around enough for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. But so I, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, you know, I really want. I really want to go see that show, but I really am just nervous. <laughs> you know, I'll go see it for. I'll go see it. it depends on how much you know. Tickets will be cheap because right. it'll be in a, it'll be in a bar. And but, then no. Uh, that's like going to the Creatures of the Night show, not knowing that Vinny Vincent's <laughs> going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he said, of course, you and Tom Kiefer and the Cinderella. He said that was just phenomenal. He said that dude, he is he is the you know a showman and he is a front man to the end. <laughs> said that guy. He said it was really good. Said they did a real good job. So I was really surprised. I thought even the Great White would be a little bit better he said it was okay it was just the vocals were lacking and you, know, you were just I, I've, were I've seen a video of the um of the uh, mark russell's great white and right they don't sound i mean they didn't even get anybody that even sounds remotely close is it mark russell? Voice, uh, it no, mark it's russell jack it's jack russell. no it's jack mark russell. oh no crap yeah <laughs> go, i'm trying to catch you before billy goes nuts. go dennis <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to correct you, but I knew something. No, was it's it's Mark uh, Mark what's his face? I can't think of his yeah, name. Yeah, the guitar player. I can't. Bill's think of pulling it. a dentist, folks. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking that shit up right now because I'm not having somebody like. No. So while while Bill is looking that up, I want to point out to the people who are watching this episode, Bill has a Kiss logo on a blue wall behind him, <laughs> and he is wearing a blue shirt with the a Kiss same logo. Kiss logo. <laughs> It's like one of those three D pictures that keeps drawing you in farther. Oh in. yeah, that's funny. But sorry uh, about that. No, so anyway, but yeah, he said all, all, all in all, it was a pretty good concert. Um, said Firehouse was really good too. So they were they were on. Um, while you're looking it up, I only had one more thing. Um, seeing it was kind of interesting because with Skype, you know, we do this we do this on not only uh, through iTunes or but we do it. Mark Kendall, there you go. Gosh darn, I can not remember that for nothing. But we do this, you know, we do it on Skype. Well, the monkeys have been went out on us like the fit her their whatever union tour. Did you say the monkeys? The monkeys. Yes. But they're they actually they what was it River uh Como wrote a song from Weezer, wrote a song for them, and it's been on the charts now. I guess it's some kind of new song they put yeah, out. Yeah, they just put out a new album. All right. And uh <laughs> it's still got Peter Tork and Mickey Dolans. Mickey and Dolans. Yeah. But they had uh they had a show the other night. Or was, I think it was last night, and they had uh, uh, Michael Nesmith showed up via Skype, and they played a song together. Now I would wonder how how that would actually, because you know there's got to be a delay that couldn't have worked. I don't, I don't know how that <laughs> worked out, mm. but I'm curious well, to see. Well, Dennis, sometime you and I could sit here and you jam and see what kind of. Well, crap I think we if you had maybe with. one person on Skype, it might work. Now that I'm thinking about it, it would work. But I'm saying if. If you well, have multiple people. You, you tell Amy to get herself set up at home. <laughs> we'll you set that. your guitar up, and I'll get my bass out, and we'll see what we can come up with. I can play the cowbell. And right before we get started with that thing, too, I have one more thing about the monkeys. Wait, no, wait, I, wait. I, wait. I, I got to go back to the monkeys. Okay, yeah. I'm talking so, about the so, still talking about the monkeys. Yeah. So Davy Jones didn't make an appearance via Skype? <laughs> they don't Skype from the, no Skype from the grave. <laughs> too soon. Hell, he's been dead for five years. Shut up! And oh, oh, and pe- people, for the record, the monkeys are one of my favorite bands. Oh, I love so, monkeys; are cool. Actually, so don't crucify us. Cause... Actually, I got a monkeys album here somewhere next to my Partridge Family album. But anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I, I did hear there, there is a too. there is a big rumor though going around. I heard about that they got this this tour going around for their world tour. Uh, reunion tour, but I hear that they are going to boycott Cincinnati because of the gorilla. But oh. I time, 
No, it's a, huh. I mean, I've, I've wanted to huh. do that joke all day long. Man, I've been <laughs> saving <laughs> that all day. I mean, <laughs> this whole I, I feel your pain, the, buddy. The monkey's news was all a setup for that joke. It's like the seven inch. Pe- um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it didn't work out either. So anyway, celebrities who are good with <laughs> social media and celebrities right. who are not so much good. Exactly. That's what we're going to get into tonight. Um, the Can thing we talk that, about hashtags and how they work, so Dennis knows that he didn't have to hashtag oh, I've been every using freaking that. thing he posts. That, that's <laughs> what's funny. Though. That that's my fault. I opened yeah. a big old can of worms there. <laughs> I show him to Kelly. It's like, look at this new hashtag. She's like, oh, that's funny. Um, so anyway, the thing is about the what what I don't understand is why hasn't every band, every musician, every entertainer using social media to its maximum? It is free advertisement. You can let your fans know what you're doing every second of the day without spending a dime, basically. I mean, you're going to have your fees for your websites and stuff. But you knew where even, I was going with that. <laughs> with Facebook and Twitter. But Facebook doesn't cost a dime. So we're going to talk about the people who actually use media in their, as a positive and do it well. And the, there's a few that need some lessons or needed to be just shut down from the media. Or they need to stop drinking. I think we're going to disagree, though. Okay. But I'm going to – okay, I'm going to go – let's do a round table here. I'm going to go with my first one. And you're, you're going to be surprised who it is, and it's not the one you're thinking of. Steel Panther uses social media <laughs> – To the max. <laughs> to the max, and they do a good job of it. They do. they do live stuff all the time. They put on videos before they go out on shows. They're always showing what they're – their what their next show is going to be this and that and these little live things these little comedy skits they got youtube they do these videos i mean they are using social media to the max i mean and why not it, it's I've awesome. learned a lot i've learned a lot watching still panther science theater <laughs> I, I mean i didn't know how twins were born i mean i've learned i've oh, learned a lot by the way bill i wouldn't take that stuff as fact <laughs> Please no! Don't. It's on the internet. It's got to be a fact. real. It's on the internet. It got to be but, real. But I mean, as far as I mean, Damn. even Facebook, they <laughs> they are daily posting something. I mean, they are on it all the time, and that keeps them current. That keeps them, and they they don't do anything. They're abusive. not oversaturating either. That's very exactly. important. Exactly, they're doing it just at the right things. It's funny, you know. Their stuff has always been tongue in cheek anyway, so they post, you know, tongue in cheek funny stuff and it, it, it i think it, sticks it in you post stuff all the time yeah <laughs> you know it, yeah. <laughs> that's his name, that's his name. <laughs> i know it is i know yeah, I mean, he's on twitter all the time he posts the funniest crap and i don't you know i'm i'm pretty sure those guys get laid about once in a blue moon <laughs> but, they're, they're married but you'd think you'd just think like, the way they post it, they get, it's like just constant just be a, this barrage <laughs> it's like nah <laughs> it's a show. It, I mean, they do it I well. think it's, it's hilarious. I think it's funny. And, you know, the bad thing about that is, is a lot of people give them a bunch of crap and don't think they're a real band. They're very great. They're, good they're musicians. great musicians. They're, they're great, great musicians. musicians. And they I think just, it's funny. It I think is. It's, it's, it is funny. It's the weird – it's like the weird owl of Heavy metal. metal. Yeah. And, and what's well, wrong with that? The people who get it's mad awesome. and the people who say bad things about them don't get it. Yeah, and you know what? You know, and that's fine. Or, don't, if you don't get it, you don't get it. I mean, they're a parody of what the excess of 80s. That's exactly metal. right. Yeah. And if that cool. pisses you off, then don't listen to them. Oh, there's some yeah. people I, I listen to other podcasts, and they get they hate those guys. And it's like, well, dude, you just don't get it. I mean, they're funny. I mean, we saw them in concert. Bill and I did it, and it was It was fun. hilarious. There, you, were there, was, you were there, Al, weren't you? Yeah, was, he was the, there. Stuff. That was when you met him. Yeah. yeah. That was a. That's I mean, when the those, seed for this podcast was born. Yeah, and no, there were all those kids there. I'm like these people. Yeah. Don't know what they're getting into. It's like Johnny, you're gonna close your ears off. But that's you know, when, yes. you know when, when the first thing is, right. Satchel says, "Let's see your vaginas." <laughs> it's like, what the hell? But anyway, that's what I'm getting to. Though they have, they are one of the they they're top on my list of people who know how to use social media to their benefit the right way. I, I mean, agree. Okay, guys, roundhouse, go for it. What do you think? I will Other- give props to Paul Stanley. When nope. he fir- when he first got on Twitter, I don't think he understood it. Right. Uh, he didn't use it correctly, and he let the fans or the not so 
fan or fans get right. to him, you right. know, and it showed because I mean it really got under his skin, and he would make some pretty nasty comments to fans, listeners, viewers, whatever you want to call them. Right. But uh, I would assume that somebody, maybe his son Evan, <laughs> sat him down and said, "Dad." Pops. <laughs> that's how trolling. You don't have to, re you don't have to you respond. You don't have to respond to that. Most <laughs> just, of them are just trying to be funny. Right. You're getting baited, Dad. Yes. And <laughs> so, speaking of Paul Stanley, anybody has not seen the Paul Stanley parody account, P A W L. Oh my God. Stanley, that dude is <laughs> the best troll on the internet. I think it's Peter Chris, but no, it can't I, because he. he I think it would be <laughs> funny if it was the real Paul Stanley. That what is, what, is, what is a troll? I don't know what that means. It's I mean, somebody, I know what a troll is. I just didn't. Right. What does that mean? Somebody that just does what? That puts fl inflammatory stuff out there just to get and you fired and up. They, and they're not. And they're not. They don't go by their real name. They they go by an okay. alias, and All they're right. just they're just okay. trolling you. All right, gotcha. But, um, All right, I just want to make sure I understood. You, I, I don't. One thing. Go back to Paul Stanley. I like the way Paul drags you into his. He brings his home life and does this like little stuff. Hey, I'm at the gym, or hey, I'm I'm cooking this dinner tonight, and you know, look at this. This is my new stereo. You know, that kind of. I mean, it kind of brings you in. That he kinda, cuts his kids' hair. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> you know, like Paul put a shirt on. You don't have to be naked too with your with your son when you cut his hair. Does every shirt? Does he own shirts with sleeves on them? <laughs> I mean, he's uh, there's a bunch every of time you see him he's got, no, he's got sleeveless shirts on and and the, and the none of them have buttons you got that chest hair that you shaved into a six pack you know you gotta show <laughs> it's <that>. exactly right <laughs> anyway that's funny Bill? okay um so to me now this is going to get controversial i personally think gene simmons does a pretty good job of using social media now does it always come out the way he planned it to come out <laughs> no yes I think it does because I think he plans that crap. That's exactly what I think. I that, think he does it for the attention. I think he does it because it spurs conversation and gets right. things going and it gets them in the media. I think he uses it exactly for its intentions. Now, I don't always agree with that, and that really doesn't matter because it's really right. – it's his it's his it's stuff. His Twitter. It's his Twitter, right. Um, so I, I do think he uses it pretty well. Now, again, I, I think sometimes it, it, it's inflammatory and it's to kind of get people going, but um, – I think he does a good job with it. You know, I don't, you know, I try to follow other people and you just don't see, you just don't see people doing much. Well, really. you know, you talk about him posting things that are inflammatory that gets people shackled up. You know, the thing between him and Paul Stanley and Shannon tweeted Nikki Six, you know, they do it to get the attention. And I think, you know, 6 a.m. has a summer tour coming up. Kiss has a summer tour coming up. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to find out they all weren't in on that. Yeah. I mean, if you ever notice, whenever they do a blurb on any of the um, sites that talk about the thing, at the very end of it, it'll say, Nikki Six will be this summer going with this. Yep. And Gene says, it is a, it's a commercial. I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I, I think a lot of that's planned. I mean, it makes them look stupid at the beginning, but they're all sitting back laughing at, when they go to the bank and cash a check. You know. What would be better is if Nikki, if uh, six AM was opening that kiss tour. <laughs> <laughs> be perfect. That would, that would be awesome. Come up with some uh, dates for us, Nikki. <laughs> there you go. No, but uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm, I had another one here, and it, I'm gonna bring it up. Foo Fighters. They they use media to the. I mean, they're to the finest because they put a lot of the stuff off. If they got anything going on. They'll start a, like a, a clock, and they're very cryptic about what they're doing. They'll leave you little clues and stuff on their websites. And you know, Dave, he's always putting something out. And I must not like have it, his right account or something because I never see. Yeah, I don't use Twitter. I use Facebook. I I'm well, very. Yeah, but I never. I'm see not a Twitter, Twitter person. I don't. I don't quite. And he doesn't do Twitter. I think the account that shows Dave Grohl is not actually his account. No, it's he not. does. Yeah, he does all out. of his stuff through Facebook. Basically, they have a uh, they have a the Foo Fighters site, and then the, he has an actual Facebook site that he sends stuff out. But I mean, even though with that, they use YouTube. You know, like, whenever like they have the uh, yeah you know, rumors of them breaking up, and then, and then they go out, they do that video and put that, that on YouTube. That video was that's hilarious, funny. You know, and, and that's, that's what like, I like about the Foo Fighters is those guys all have a really good sense of humor. Well, that's yeah. like when they played in that one. They played that one town where the in Kansas City or wherever it was with that those church the of the Westboro. Yeah, they you know they hate that's all in Arkansas. the people at Arkansas. 
But you know, they got on that they had that, that flatbed truck and they got on there and dressed it up. <laughs> they are playing in the back of the truck. It's like going, that's funny. I mean, that that's you get it. I mean, that's funny, you know. And uh, it's funny, but, right there. but yeah, Foo Fighters. They they're another band that use use free advertisement and they use it wisely to keep their people informed you know you know what's going on you don't have to wait for a magazine or or an article to come out you know they 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 keep on it anybody else any good stuff well, I, know I, follow- so- I know somebody who uses social media very badly well we're going to get to that any <laughs> any other good ones well, i was going to see- say too kiss so kiss on a whole yeah their their kiss website on their their facebook page Man, I mean, every day or every other day you get some, and they do a lot of like, well, today you know they play like Anchorage, was it thirty five something years ago, whatever it was, and they, but they put a lot of old pictures up, and I like that too. I think that's kind of cool. They do a lot of, yeah. Um, I, I think uh, Jack Russell does a pretty good job actually. He, he yeah, I don't have. He him. did. He posted a lot on Twitter at first, and it was like constant, and then he said, "I need to slow down." And now he, but if somebody will post on his thing and say, you know, hey, great show last night, he always responds and says, thanks for coming, right. you know. And if he met them, he'll say, you know, it was great, it was great to meet you and that kind of stuff. Oh, so cool. I, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, he does a good job of calling people out, um, right. things like that. I don't, I don't really find myself following many individuals. I'll follow groups, you right. know. Um, so it's yeah, it's not. I'm just not following a lot of individual people. <laughs> Before we get into the bad ones, well, I got I, I've one. got another I've got another good one. Oh, go for it, uh, Michael Sweet. He yeah. Oh know, yeah, he did. Yeah, you're right. He He's started really following good. me on Twitter, so I started following him back. You know, he followed he, you first. He followed me. I don't follow celebrities. I just for some reason I don't follow a celebrity unless they follow me first because you know they don't care about my business. I don't care about their business. But uh, I've had uh, Greg Ken follow me. Uh, the guitar player from Bill Everty from Firehouse, Michael Sweet, and there was some other dude who kind of got weird, so I don't even remember who it was, but I took him off of there. <laughs> but uh, Michael Sweet does a very good job of um, interacting with right. Twitter followers. Yeah, He does a good job of, you know, remembering the past, publicizing shows, and he's very good to call out the people who bust on Striper because they're a... Uh, fake christian man right yeah <laughs> uh, kenny arnoff is another you know you guys know kenny Ar- arnoff is drummer if you've ever seen with... any band you've seen <laughs> yes, kenny arnoff. right and then the cool thing is he always you know he's always got he started following me which i thought was kind of weird i'm like i'm i get a thing that says you know now being you know you're being followed now See, i don't i don't arnoff, do like, twitter i need to start doing kenny that. arnoff start following yeah. me but um it was cool, and so you know he posts stuff all like you know I'm mean, he's playing here this week or he's playing. I mean, one weekend he played three different shows with three different bands. <laughs> that, like, that dude is a monster. Wow. Yeah, he yeah. is a monster. I was shocked. I've seen him play for Melissa Etheridge, John Mellencamp, Chicken Foot. Uh, I'm sure I've seen him play for others. Yeah, he played got... Chicken Foot. He played. He. He played when uh what's when uh God see when when I saw Chicken Foot at Rock Oklahoma he was the drummer the guy from the, the Chili, Chili Peppers. Peppers was on tour <laughs> there you go just they were either on tour or in the studio Chris is his name Chris, Chris, nope. Chris Smith isn't it? Chad Smith Chad Chad Smith, Smith. Will Ferrell Will Ferrell <laughs> <laughs> but no like I said I, I I gotta get more into Twitter I just have a hard time I don't I don't quite get Twitter and I just I I get tweet I get tweets I've I've got an account but I just don't mess with it too much. <laughs> Um, before we get into the bad ones, so I've got one that kind of is good and bad, and that's one thing I wanted to bring up. Alice Cooper, I like his. He does Twitter, and he does. Some does he really? Stuff. He does a lot of backstage stuff before the show, oh. and it's real. He put some great photos up, but his Facebook account, Calico, probably does Twitter for Alice, probably. <laughs> but on his Facebook account, he does shit like. 18 times a day and all he does is like put weird stuff that he finds oh yeah now, yeah i don't know if that's him doing that or if it's somebody he's hired to do it i know he ain't got that much time on his hands so is, it, is it real alice cooper huh is it real alice cooper on twitter is that his twitter uh i don't know i have to look i'd have to look it up it says the only official that's probably it then yeah, but, but that's the thing is he does Twitter very well, but he doesn't do face that Facebook account gets to the point where I almost want to sometimes just go. You know what? You're just you're just you're just filling up my page for with a bunch of crap that I don't want to read, and half of it's that 
that it bites you. You, you, you try to look, watch it and then you got to make sure you hit the right spot or it takes you to a commercial. And it's just like, yeah. I, it's, it's just a uh, commercial bait. So I, I, I just, that's one thing I think he does bad. And if he, he would need to stop doing it, I think, but uh, anyway, now let's go to the bad media. Who doesn't use bad media in a good way? Sebastian Bach. <laughs> <laughs> I got a better one than that, but Sebastian is is the latest. Now this- I have seen this guy get into Twitter arguments <laughs> with tons of musicians. <clears throat> it kind of makes sense because they're still living the glory days of the late '80s, the early '90s, when everybody hated each other because they all wanted to be number one. But this week. Sebastian got care. into a Twitter war with William Shatner. I, I don't think I ever what? seen Captain Kirk. He's like 90. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Bill what Shatner is that? 85 years old. Here. What in the world could that man have possibly said or done to piss Baz off? And the thing is, there's no nobody knows what started it. Okay, there's Sebastian, nothing. here's your invitation. Come on our show and defend yourself. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I think the problem with Sebastian is... is he drinks... So he starts drinking. He needs to, <laughs> you need to hide his phone. I think he's he's well. He's, so he's threatened to go by because I guess he lives down the house, down the street from him. From I run past street. your house every day. I'm gonna come down there and whoop your ass. I'm like, how and old are you? Really? What do you call it? His phaser. His phaser yeah. looking phaser phone. phone. <laughs> I mean, phaser on, looking man. cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, somebody then got beamed up on that one. I tell you, Sebastian, he's just and you know what, uh, you know though he's done shit like this though from day fucking one. I mean, Sebastian, you remember what got him in the biggest trouble when he first started? I mean, that T-shirt, that T-shirt he wore and it got put in. I seen it in like a circus magazine or whatever, Hip, hip Raider, as that raid shirt. I'm sure you know what we're talking about, Bill. You've seen yeah. it. Anyway, I won't have to mention it, but I mean. Have some cooth about yourself. I mean, he, he knew that was, <laughs> or maybe he didn't know. You know, that was not right to to wear that. But uh, I don't think he thought it would piss off as many people as it did. And it did. It was a. Oh was, yeah. But no, Sebastian. I think, like I said, he's got a. He, he likes to drink and tweet. Uh, drink, drunk Twitter. Drunk Twitter. <laughs> I was trying to mash the words together, but but uh, twink. He likes to twink. Twink. <laughs> Oh boy! But anyway, uh, Sebastian, and like I said, that's a good—that's a very good uh, example. I mean, fresh example. Um, oh, I my number one, Kanye. <laughs> He's not Kanye. rock and roll. He doesn't count. That's I don't know. Okay. No, I what, let's don't even give him credit. You know, I, what, I agree you with you. What? You, okay. Can you erase that? Can you go? <laughs> you can't even. Why did you say it? That's oh my. Because God. Kanye said that he was God's gift to rock and roll, and he said he was better than Freddie Mercury. Remember he what? made yeah. he said yeah. he's bigger or better than Freddie Mercury. Bullshit. Yeah. What a bunch of crap. That that he's just a piece of shit. The people. It's horrible. horrible. <laughs> but yeah, but people jump on him pretty quick. It don't take much to. Uh, well, you know. Again, and a whole lot of people jumped off on his old lady. Again, like a whole <laughs> <lot>. <laughs> well, now going going back to Kanye Man, using Twitter. Bill, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> back on topic here, gentlemen. Uh, going back to Kanye using Twitter. That to me, that's kind of like Gene Simmons using Twitter. He says things and he does things and he jumps up on a stage when Taylor Swift's getting an award. You know, everybody's saying Kanye's name. And that is his whole purpose for doing a lot of that, I think. We're saying, I'm not saying his name. Dennis and you said his name <laughs> you on know, this show. you got to quit saying that name. I, I won't say it again. I'm sorry. This is going to be a Kanye free zone. Oh, you just said it. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> no, but, right. but seriously, you know, even though. Every time he says it, so people don't know. The K word. <laughs> or we could say, uh, what's, what's, his, uh, what's his wife's name? Oh, damn it. Um. Big butt. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, Kardashian's husband. Or we'll say that. That show just went to the shitter. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, so, okay, I won't mention Kanye. Okay, I'll tell you another one that's bad. David Lee Roth. Well, have you read some David of his? Lee Roth, hello. Have you read some of his stuff that he do, posts? Do, do, does, he, he, does he text in there? I, f- I forgot the fucking words. Oh, like dude, he does live. <laughs> he, forgots to ter- he forgets to turn his 
brain on when he starts typing. I mean, it's just the most random. You think he rambles when he talks. Read some of his bullshit on the internet. It's it's terrible. It's horrible. <laughs> I think yeah, it's kind of okay. So do you guys do this? Because I I do. When I read what somebody tweets and I know their voice, it kind of like I hear it. You hear it? Yeah, of course. So, when you read David Lee Ross, it's like you hear it, and it just sounds that much dumber. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, but yeah, David, it's just he's freaking stupid. It's like he's, he's not a good uh, use of social. person. Yeah. <laughs> that was my bad one. I had, I, and then Gene Simmons, I had him in my bad range too, because. But there again, he he. The thing is, is is David? Okay, Sebastian says stuff. And some other people say bad things, and I don't think that they're in their head that they don't they don't know what they're doing wrong. Gene's his is all planned out. Anything he says has a reason for it. So I can't really say bad or good. He's doing it for a reason. He's doing it for press as well. Even if it even if it isn't planned out, he just says it. And yeah. he just owns it and says it. Yeah. Typic I mean, really, he just he doesn't you know, he backed off whenever he got in trouble the last time for him. Right you know shannon and paul but otherwise he just says it it's like okay right. fine and, and i'm okay with that don't yeah. don't say something and then right. start back flip flop but if you're gonna if you're gonna say yeah. something stick with it you, you flip flop they'll just ask you to be a politician yeah. so, <laughs> so <laughs> not want any of that yeah going ain't on. going there either nope so i don't hmm, Alan, i don't think any got any more bad ones <laughs> did i mention sebastian bot yeah we, <laughs> <laughs> you get two points for that one well uh <laughs> I don't really follow that many. I'm, I'm trying to figure. I don't follow that many. Yeah, I had some. I was thinking of some today that didn't do that. Got into these little. I something that I found humorous. I won't necessarily call call it good or bad. Last week, Tommy Lee complained that uh, the day after the Motley Crue tour was <laughs> over, that Nikki Six unfriended him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you guys haven't talked to each other in like ten years. You've been on tour, and you maybe said three words to each other in a year. You drive separate things. You never look at each other on stage, and you're worried about losing them as a friend on Facebook. Really? Yeah, that's something I can't. I just can't figure that out. <laughs> I do not get it. I don't either. I don't get it at all. Don't get it's it all, at all. Those guys is all about money. And I was gonna say, Pink Floyd wrote a song about it, y'all. Yeah, money. <laughs> so anyway, it sounded pretty uh, good, actually. <laughs> we have to listen to that back and see how good that sounded. Oh, it'll be bad. I guarantee you. <laughs> And be like, what? what the hell is he doing? But anyway, that's all I got on that one as far as the bad ones. I, there's so many of them. That you, if you sit there and all night, you could probably pull up people that do stuff bad. But like I said, I just don't understand why people in the entertainment industry do not use social media to their – I mean, golly, it's – I mean, it's it's I, instant – it's instant things to get stuff to your fans. If you well, get enough, I wonder follow. how many of them don't use it because – it goes against the fact that they hate the internet because the internet has a complete upheaval in their the way they earn money. Right. Or but the it way can get people do their concerts, they could get beat and they could sell things, you know. We hey, we got this new T shirt out today, you know, go to our store, buy it, blah, blah, blah. I think it could be good and bad either way. You know, I'm I mean they're not gonna change the way music is sold and that you know that has a lot to do with just technology itself and, and the company you know the the record companies you know they could have got into this thing earlier and they stomped their feet and didn't want to get into it and i think that's the deals that they got now aren't as good as they could have been back in the day that's just my own opinion yep because they kept but dragging. that's a whole that's a whole other that's podcast a whole other, right there yeah, that's, there is yeah so anyway but yeah you know all you people out there use use your media wisely you know, and if you're drunk, don't drop the phone. Just put it down. You know, you either Step be tweeting away from the Twitter. You be either tweeting some tweeting something on the internet, or you be calling an ex girlfriend. So don't do either. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, remember me? <laughs> I'm famous now. Anyway, but ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, right. anybody got anything else? Just for yeah. Uh, I, hey, I listened to this. Started I posted some stuff well not posted but i sent you guys some emails about a new band i listen well not a new band they're actually kind of it's an old band from sweden hmm. um and uh called uh goddard goddard yeah got yeah g-o-t-t-h-a-r-d um 
I man, I I really I really do like it. I found hmm. I listened to some. I mean, that it's a lot of ballads, but um, the acoustic stuff's really good in it, and um, a lot of keyboards definitely from the you know late nineties, two thousand in in the two thousands. But hmm. I've I've it's pretty cool stuff. I I just kept seeing their name, and I couldn't figure out you know who they were, and finally just listened to them and went to uh, Amazon, downloaded some prime songs and right i was like oh that's pretty good stuff so i've listened to two or three albums so far and um i like it it's pretty good stuff oh it's, one thing go ahead sorry no, and i did i bought one album by the good way deal. good deal didn't just download it i didn't just use it on my prime account i actually bought an album probably not the right album though but it's still pretty good hey real quick before we go to did you see the uh the flyer for the let's see maybe we pull it up here yeah, I did. Larger than life. Yes, yeah. yes. What do you think about the lineup? Man, there's just not a solid day. There's like two days. I, I could pick out if I could pick the bands I wanted to see in one day. I could make a real good day. But I don't know. It'd be tough to pick a day because there's there's good and bad. That, in both that's why shows. they stretch them out over a couple of days to make you Jeez. stay there. Man, I tell you, there's. Yeah, I would go day one. I would probably not go day two. I'm I'm like you. I think day one would be the day to go. I I'm I was looking at the line up i'm not uh, a slipknot fan that would make me vomit see i would leave see that would get me out of there early though yeah i'd, like, I'd like to see disturbed maybe see now, i'm um, not a disturbed fan so i could but, actually be home by about 6 30 so be- well i mean <laughs> when, the, the unfortunate part is the last song they're going to do is down with the sickness which right. is the bad part um so we have to sit through that to get there but right. um yeah i would leave right after that because i really i don't care for i don't care for slipknot at all and there's other people on that bill too that I really didn't. I really don't care a lot. I would for like them. to see Miles Kennedy. They're they're playing that first day, aren't they? Alder Bridge. Yeah, they're. I see. That's one I no. want to see. Yeah, yeah I, I can't sure. remember. Yeah, I don't see, remember. Cheap Tricks on the second day. Do you notice how far down the list they are? They're always yeah. far down. Oh the my list god! I mean, they're like in the. That's okay. Little, we're gonna go see them. We're gonna go see them anyway. Yeah, we're gonna see them. Anyway. Who cares? That's right. But uh, but I mean, like Avenged. They got so many bands in between. Like the Avenged Sevenfold. I really don't care to see Slayer. I have no. Yeah, no, say when, but I like I, Avenge Sevenfold. I'd like to see them. I would, wouldn't mind seeing Avenge, but Slayer. And they're I, headlining, right? Aren't they? Yeah, headlining? they're headlining. Slayer is yeah, Slayer. Yeah, Slayer's, yeah. Then, and I would, yeah, that'd be a big long pee break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a nap or something if you could find a place. But yeah, I, I thought that wasn't a very solid uh, lineup. I was kind of disappointed. I was like going, well, maybe I can go up there for one day. There ain't enough draw for one day for me to do it, I don't think. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't. I thought it looked okay, but I wasn't like, oh, I gotta go to that. I didn't. Yeah, that's and see, last year was a lot. I think the lineup last year was a lot better. I think this year, because uh, they had Priest and uh, one day, and they had uh, what was Priest and Steel Panther. That was two a, years ago, dude. Was that two years ago? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how much I keep up. That was two and a half years ago. <laughs> yeah, because it was right before. It was right before we saw them in okay. Evansville. That's yeah. true. That's right. That was because yeah. you're right. Jesus. Time's going by. Yes, we are getting old. (laughs) No, you're getting old. (laughs) You're getting old too. Trust me. Not as old as you. You're still older. You're always going to be older. (laughs) All right. Well, other other than that, I ain't got nothing else unless you guys got something. Nope. Um, As we fade into the sunset of this episode, uh, we invite you, the listeners and the viewers, to tell us who your favorite social media celebrities are and your least favorite social media celebrities are. Uh, leave a comment on agesofrock.com or facebook.com slash agesofrockpodcast. Let us know what you think. Um, what? <laughs> yes, I'm so confused. Did I say agesofrock.com? Hashtag a lot of shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I, 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 hashtag, hashtag everything you got. <laughs> and, and Dennis will out hashtag you. Hashtag ages of rock rules the world. <laughs> my hashtags are real long <laughs> it's our world domination yeah whatever it's our world domination tour <laughs> there you go that's right yeah. 80s of rock takes over the world and also there will not be an episode next week because I am going on vacation uh, thank oh, god oh. yeah <laughs> and me well, and see Bill they would do an episode do without me but I'm the one so. that records so <laughs> we're going to do an episode on our own do we're it gonna figure, we're going to yeah, figure I'm gonna it record out with my iPhone I took the dog <laughs> no, there you FaceTime there you FaceTime. go <laughs> No, we can do this. I'll just record it. It'll sound like crap and look like crap. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, peace out, folks. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.
See ya. Thanks for listening to the Ages of Rock podcast. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and most importantly, tell all your friends. Remember, you're never too old to rock. Until the next episode, peace out, folks.